so this is SY Sublime. Uh, so today's uh, project is a bunch of projects that I am procrastinating on doing. I've been procrastinating for a long time. So um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you what I need to do. Um, these bolts have to be tightened up underneath. And these bolts here have to be tightened up underneath. And my electrical system here has to be done. There it is, there it is. Gonna hook up all those. And I will be doing just a bunch of procrastinating jobs that I haven't just been blown off, been slack on, and underneath my underneath my V-berth, I have uh, some repairs to do to my uh, water tank. I um, built a, a spin lock welding system um, to weld uh, fittings to uh, plastic water tanks. That's, uh, I'll do a video on it, and you'll see how it is. So this is the uh, first of my projects I have to do is just get the, uh, the power all switched up and uh, turned on so let's get stuck into it so this is inside uh, the engine bay of SY Sublime this is the new uh, Victron Multi Plus uh, inverter charger I got, tall 3000 what, 120 volt uh, Victoron uh, MMPT. This is the back of my my panel. Uh, I know all you people that are good with electrical stuff say, oh, it's going to be a mess and oh, you're never going to find anything. You know what? Well, that's why I have labels. So I labeled everything and it makes sense to me. Everybody says, oh, that doesn't make much sense. That not, that's what, not, that's not ABYC compliant and blah, 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 blah. Well, it makes sense to me. So, I don't care. So I've got labels and everything. Everything's labeled. I've got a schematic that I made, that I drew of everything, where everything goes. So I can pre pretty much, I can, in about 30 minutes or less, I can disconnect this whole panel, undo this whole panel, and I can take that whole panel, electrical panel, out in less than probably 20 minutes or less than that, probably 10 minutes. So I don't have that much to unscrew and undo to get out, get anything out. Um, so anyway, that's the back of it. And uh, two things I wasted money on. Which I'm not real impressed with because I don't like wasting money. Uh, this uh, Blue Sea Systems um, selector switch and this uh, Victron remote controller. So, considering I have the GNX colored one right here, there's not much point having that right there because this is supposed to be a remote unit. Anyway, so. Uh, that's the two things I wasted probably 200, I don't know, $250 on for those two things there, or 250 bucks combined. So I wasn't really happy with that decision. This is my battery management panel at the back side of it, and this is the Blue Sea Systems 18-pole um, 18 18 uh, DC and 8-pole AC back of the panel here um, these are AC, these are AC these are DC I do have to get covers for these to make them neater um, and then this is the 400 amp fuse that I have and then this is my engine my rest of big engine and then uh, so yeah so I have lights in here too I'll put lights in here as well lights there so the engine bay is lit up pretty nice um, and I'll probably put 
lights up above here, above here, and probably on top of in here somewhere, so I can have light. And I'm going to put another light underneath there. My autopilot's going to go in here behind this area here, or I could put it, move this over here, and put my um, autopilot pump here on the shelf. I think that's probably what I'm going to do is put it on the shelf. But anybody has any comments on where I should put it, well, let me know. It's either here or back here, which I don't have a lot of room, really. Oh, well, I could put it over here, but then it's hard to get in and out, and I can't stow stuff here and back here in the lazarette area. Because um, I am going to partition this off with a temporary partition. This fuel tank has to slide over more. Um, so I've only got it over here for so I can get space to get in and out. This is um, my Excel, I can't see it very well, this is my Excel propane ventless water heater. Um, it works excellent, it's excellent, excellent, excellent to work. It runs on uh, D batteries, this is the start it. it's propane, and the water gets up over 110 degrees, it gets really, it gets very hot, extremely hot, I think probably even hotter, like 115 or something. 120 maybe. Uh, this is the back side of my smart system, my smart plug that I put in. And of course I'm going to paint all this in here uh, eventually. So, uh, <laughs> this is the job for today. I'm going to hook up my all my nav lights, which I have, don't have any nav lights hooked up. This is my bilge here. This is my bilge for my power, uh, power on. This is my permanent um, on this wire goes over to the back of this fuse box here, this fuse here, so this is a 24 hour circuit this one. This is uh, this one here is only my manual circuit. Um, or automatic, now this is because it's manual, this is a power manual. Yeah this one can be, this is my manual circuit. I guess it could be my uh, or one I don't, I don't know we'll figure it out but who knows but this anyway this is it so, uh, so and then I've got a, some titanium I've made a bracket for this this is another one of my procrastinating uh, procrastinating get rid of all that one of my other procrastinating uh, projects is uh, wrapping put on a wrap around my muffler my exhaust system and I got a titanium wrap that I bought and uh, I'm going to wrap that as well so I have uh, these are just my procrastinating things I do have to replace uh, my solenoid there and um, I have to uh, look for some batteries uh, batteries sorry some screws I lost down in my bilge, which is down in there. Um, so other than that, and I've got to hook up a, a vent, a blower, suction blower for the bilge to suck out any uh, gases that might accumulate from anything leaking or anything down there in the bilge, or just to make the bilge smell a bit fresher when it stinks, because it gets really stinky. So at the moment, that's all I have. So I will show you my progress as I go because it's hard to film in here one-handed and I take forever so let's get to it okay so I've got the rough power going from these two switches here um, tracing it up I'm going to secure it uh, once I get the, this bracket in this bracket in for the exhaust and then I've got it down going down to here uh, this is the uh, power for this for these two outdoor weather deck switches I have um, these weather deck switches control my anchor light nav spreader lights steaming light I'm going to put cabin lights on the outside in, underneath the uh, dodger and then I have my uh, manual control of my bilge pumps which will be here and this is an automatic one here and this is just an accessory for probably an accessory will go to that, that bait light right there I'd say 
and then um, on this side is just my panel for my windlass uh, I put a bunch of stuff here I don't know what to put on this side but well have so many switches on this boat it's unbelievable um, how many switches I actually have um, I've got 16 switches here there's 18 switches there plus I have another panel of 8 switches so I'm totally switched on <laughs>